Hi folks, uh, well it's another wet, dreary and dull day here, or dull morning in Northern Ireland, so just thought saying I was so miserable, what, what better way to spend it than do a wee bit of lock picking. And this time I'm going to be attempting a single pin pick, it's a buffo, um, and it is a 5 pin euro. There is no working key with this one, as you can see there. It is well locked up. It's quite nice we pick this one. I'll lend this off Dr. Bent. Um, so I'm going to use reasonably ladies tension and uh, a medium Peterson hook. But hopefully you can see that there. The light isn't the best. So I'm going to start from the back. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Yep. We click on pin five. We click on pin four. And we touch very small touch on pin one. Your, your buffo uh, five pin euro. Now, I was wanting to do something else. There's a guy on UK Locksport um, called Stuart Roper. And I said to Stuart, I would uh, show him these new pry bars. So, this is for you, Stuart, and for anybody else out there that's interested. See, these are the new, you can see these, get this in focus. These are the new pry bars, Peterson pry bars. So, you can see. All these are no teeth pry bars. These are for folks that use like like using top keyway tension because they don't interfere sort of pin one. So this is for you, Stuart. This is the uh, older pry bar, as you can see there. Now they look quite similar, but if I can do this here right, if you can put these side by side, if I can get this right. Uh, I'd say I'm sort of lined up. This to focus. There's sort of a line there, but the difference is on the, the new pry bar, there's this little curve here. You can see that. See that little curve? And what that does is that acts to stop you from hitting pin one. It means this here sits out a bit and stops you from hitting pin one, whereas this one here is just cut square. So, all right, get that to focus. You can see that. Stupid camera. Yep, it's just cut square here. So it just goes straight in. Whereas this one here, there's a curve here, and this little lip sticks out. And there's, there's teeth here in this one. And also, if you turn up to the other end, I don't know why, but there's uh, teeth here on the top of this one. But you can see that wee curve there is very pronounced. So that's what stops you from hitting sort of pin one. It's that wee curve where the other one is just squarely cut. So I hope that helps you, Stuart. And by the way, um, subscribe to Stuart Roper because he's a good lock picker and he, he picks some very, very good locks. So I'll put a wee link to one of his videos here and you can subscribe to him. Alright, so take care, folks, and uh, all the best. Bye-bye.